Hi, this is Mohammed Shakil here and today I'm going to show you how you can add annotations to the drawing views in the drafting workbench of KTRV5. So in my previous video I have uh, shown you how you can insert logos into the drafting file and as well as the creation of frames and uh, title blocks. So say uh, you want to uh, insert some views into this and you want to give the dimensions and annotations into it. So to start off, uh, uh, one of the part file is open in my uh, uh, case over here. You can open up your own file, some file. Uh, doesn't need to be like a nut or something. You can open up any of the files which you have worked on. So make sure that it's a assembly file or a part file. So say I'm opening up, uh, opening up a nut file here and switch back to the drafting workbench. After generating the drawing views, you need to generate the dimensions in the drawing views and add an add uh, annotations such as nodes, surface finish symbols, geometric tolerance and so on. Two types of annotations can be generated in the drawing views. The first type is the generative annotation which you can generate the dimensions that were added while creating the part in the part design workbench. The second type of annotation are those that are added manually to the geometry of the drawing view such as reference dimensions, nodes, surface finish symbols and so on. Both these types of annotations and procedures to add them are di discussed in my next videos. So uh, here I'm going to discuss the first one that is the generating the annotations which you can generate while creating the part in the part design workbench. So here generating the dimensions. So. <coughs> Let me just uh, insert one of the views here. So I'm inserting a front view here. Uh, let me give a scaling for that. So five scale. So it's pretty big. So the generate dimension tool is used to generate all dimensions of the model in its drawing views. So let's see how you can invoke the generate dimensions tool. The first way is to go to insert and then go to generation and then go to generate dimension. This is the first way. So you get the dimensions generate and filter uh, dialog box or the other way is the generation window uh, generation toolbar. So you can find your generation toolbar. If you don't find it, you can go over here always and you can, uh, it's already on. So generation toolbar is here and the generate dimension icon is over here. This is the two ways of invoking them. To generate the dimensions, first invoke the options dialog box and then select the drafting from the mechanical design option on the left pane of the dialog box. So you need to set some standards and that's the reason you're going to mechanical design over here. This is how uh, your layout is going to be. So this is where you find all the options, the default uh, options of uh, most of the workbenches. So select the drafting over here and in this you will be having tabs. Switch back to the tab that is a generation tab and here make sure that uh, your filters before generation is checked and uh, in my case it's already checked and if in your case it's not checked please make sure that it's checked off checked on and click on ok to apply the changes and exit the options dialog box next choose the generate dimensions tool from the generation dialog box uh, generation drop down in the generation toolbar so this is the generation toolbar and this is the generate dimension and you get the dimension generation filters dialog box. So uh, let me just explain you a few of the options uh, below the uh, type of constraint, options, retrieve excluded constraint and uh, add all parts. So all these uh, options are very important and uh, it, it is important that a drafting person should be understanding the basic concepts of all these. So the type of constraint area, the options in the type of constraint area are used to define the type of constraint that you need to generate. By default, all the checkboxes are selected in this area. While generating the dimensions of the assembly drawing views, the assembly constraint checkbox will also become active. 
clear the checkbox of the type of constraint that you do not want to generate. The options area. The associated with unrepresented elements checkbox that is what you can find over here provided in the options area is also used to generate those dimensions whose reference are not displayed in the drawing view. These dimensions include the dimensions that are reference to a plane, axis, reference, sketch, and so on. Uh, sometimes when you are uh, doing your uh, uh, design, maybe you will be giving uh, constraints related to some planes or axis or something. And uh, if you check on this, you will get those kind of dimensions which you have given when you were in the design process of some part or an assembly. So, and uh, with design tolerances, checkbox is selected to generate the dimensions with design tolerances. The tolerance is also applied to the generated dimensions. Retrieve excluded constraints. After deleting some of the generated co dimensions, if you need to restore them, invoke the dimensions generated generation filter dialog box and choose the retrieved excluded constraint button. Now choose the OK button from the generation filter dialog box and uh, the dimensions that were deleted earlier will be restored in the respective views. So uh, say sometimes here the option is freeze because you haven't deleted any of the constraint because you haven't even given any of the dimension. So say you have already given some dimensions and you're deleting some of them and if you want to retrieve those excluded constraints go over here check on this and you'll get all the deleted constraints once again back and add all, add all parts which you can see over here add all parts button is all available only while generating dimensions of the drawing views of an assembly by default only the name of the assembly is displayed in the elements column provided on the left of this button if you choose this button then the name of all the parts of the assembly are displayed in this column also <coughs> the dimensions of all components will be generated in the assembly drawing views to remove a part from the selection set of the element com column select it and choose the remove button provided below the add all parts so say you have a uh, few of the parts uh, say you're working on assembly you will be having uh, uh, many parts option over here. Once you give add all parts, all the parts that are there present in the assembly will be uh, lining up on this particular uh, layout here. So if you say if you want any of the parts which you don't want the uh, dimensions to be generated over here, you can select them and you can remove it from the list and that particular dimensions which is related won't be appearing on the view, your respective view. After setting all the parameters, choose OK button from the generation dimension generation filter dialog box and what you can see is uh, the dimensions, the analysis, the generation, the uh, what you say the dimension generation filter dialog box will be appearing here. So if the generated dimension analysis dialog box is displayed, choose OK button from it. All the dimensions of the model will be generated. So once you click on this, all the dimensions will be displayed. So what the other problem that you face over here is uh, maybe the fonts will be small. So once you right click on any of the dimensions, generated dimensions and go to the properties. What you can see over here is uh, you can see the values and the tolerance here. Uh, if you want you can give your own tolerance. You can uh, change the value to 5 minus 6 say I'm giving some values and you have the dimension line this is just like the AutoCAD the options over here are just like AutoCAD if you're familiar with AutoCAD you can work on this very easily so the dimension texts and you have the font option from where you can change the size of it so in this case I'm just only changing the size of the uh, text here so that it is uh, more clear for you and the text graphic the features everything is there and once you're done with uh, changing your data, click on OK and you can see your uh, text size has been increased. Do the same for uh, the other option here and go to fonts and change the size of the font to uh, your required size and you have the uh, dimensions being created. You can pull it up, pull it down uh, according to your need and uh, 
this is how you can work with the dimensions so uh, this is all about uh, the creation of uh, the generation of uh, dimensions all together so uh, thank you for watching I hope uh, this video is gonna help you uh, on your uh, drafting projects thank you for watching